There's been all kinds of diet crazes from high protein diets, no meat diets, no grain diets. Yeah, now some people are trying the no grain diet on their pets, and that could be dangerous. Steve Spraza takes a closer look. For most of us, dog food like this, it all looks the same. So we go by the ingredients on the label to tell us what's in the food. And vets say that any dog food needs crucial ingredients to keep our four-footed friends happy. You're gonna have a protein source. Most commonly those are beef or chicken, but there are many protein sources out there these days. But dogs aren't solely carnivores. They need carbohydrates as well. It might be grains, it might be tapioca, it might be potato, but it has to be something um, for them and, and fats as well. That's a good boy. Dog owner Charles Dean worries about certain foods. I used to feed him grain-free and I, I did a raw diet for a while. What do you think about like grain-free dog foods? I think it's not been tested enough. <laughs> like a lot of the there's results coming out now that it could lead to heart disease, heart disease. And we also have to be careful, especially in dog food, I think, to, to distinguish fads from science. The most uh, common recent fad, of course, would be grain-free foods. The Food and Drug Administration is warning pet owners about a potential link between grain-free dog foods and a fatal form of canine heart disease. It says to be wary of any grain-free pet food that lists potatoes, peas, lentils, and other legumes as the only ingredients. The FDA thinks those foods are connected to a deficiency in taurine. That's an amino acid that is critical to the health of a dog's heart, but nobody knows for sure. More research needs to be done on that. Don't want to scare people uh, unnecessarily, but at the same time, it might be better to make sure that your dog is actually getting a food with grains in it until we know more.